Hey everybody, happy Wednesday night. Um, happy Facebook Live day for me. Um, hope that everyone's doing okay here in Texas. It is really hot. We went to the pool this afternoon. So this is my like post pool situation. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm trying to figure out, so I keep looking up here, but I think my camera's here. I don't know, I'm gonna try to figure out how to how to look at the camera more and not at my face. I don't know, we'll figure it out, I'm not worried. But um, I hope things are well for you. If you're here, say hello. Uh, I'm excited today because I'm gonna show off the new um, diversity download. So Stampin' Up! created um, a really neat free download for you. If you haven't seen it yet, I hope you'll go. Download it while you can. Um, so if you go to stampinup.com and you'll be able to see it, there's a couple ways that you can find it. Um, you can go under sales and specials and it says free creative download. You might also see it come up on the carousel on the main page but it says united through creativity we're celebrating what makes us unique through what brings us together creativity um, the united through creativity digital download features inclusive multicultural multilingual craft elements that represent each of our stampin up markets and it's free so i would recommend that you download it um, because i think they're only going to have it up through like maybe the end of this month um, through the end of june and then they're going to take it down so if you miss out you'll be sad um, i will upload a copy of it to the um to my group um i have a the c2c creatives group is for my customers and it's linked here on my facebook page and so if you you know don't download it and you miss it and you're watching this video later um you can definitely get it that way so one of the reasons that i'm excited about it um one you can just print it on cardstock that you have at home um, it has the coordinating colors in it and it even tells you a few things that they wanted you to use like a label me fancy punch some stitched rectangles some tasteful label dies so they sized everything to fit for those dies and punches but i found a few other ones that worked well so i'm going to show you those um, it has some pieces that you can color um, and then it's got a lot of like um, fun sentiments. So the Canadian market, right? It says like, how's it going, A? Um, and the German market has a beautiful flower. Um, and the Canadian market has, of course, the maple leaf. The American market has apple pie, because you know, nothing's more American than apple pie. Um, the um, South Pacific market has a really pretty like fern frond, I think. Um, the Dutch market has uh, wooden shoes. They're super cute, so I'm going to show you how to color these. Um, and it's got a couple of cute Dutch sayings. And then um, there's the Australian market. So I think one is New Zealand and one is Australia. Um, it's got some flowers. Um, chin up, it'll all come out in the wash. Actually, this is the British market. Oh yeah, because fancy a cup of, cup of tea, cup of coffee. What absolutely fabulous news. Um, good day. Um, you're a true blue friend. The French has, of course, wine and cheese. Um, and then there's a really cool image at the back that I'm gonna show you a cute idea for. Hey, Patsy. So um, yeah, so I've got a couple of things to show you. So I'm gonna have these here and um, I'm gonna flip you guys around and we're gonna do a wee bit of coloring. Um, if you want to, I'm gonna pull it up over here so that I can, um, see your comments um, before I flip you guys around. And let's see, and I'll meet myself over here, hopefully. Okay, great, awesome. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the flip and I'm gonna try to be much more subtle about it and much more, um, you know, uh, Cool. So let's see if we can do a better job with our flip. So what I'd like to do is, that's fine. All right, what I'd like to do is, that's fine, do that. That's normal. That's not normal. Good. No. Okay. Lovely. Hey, Sharon. Welcome. All right. So here we go. I'm going to see... Can I 
Okay, I'm gonna try to flip it this way and see if I can't get it to work. I have this like commitment that I want. Oh, then that's gonna do something wacky. Here. Oh, because this arm isn't long enough. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm trying to, you know, it's a new mount and I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to do it. All right, I've changed my mind. Okay, um, it was in my way when I had it up, and I don't know. I'm still trying to work it out. All right, so these are a couple of the images that I cut out of the Stampin' Diversity pieces. There's four of these in the back, and you could just cut them, you know, with a paper trimmer, but I thought it looked really cute with the corners, um, the new die set. Um, and so this is really cute. So this has imagery from all of our different markets, right? From the South Pacific, from England, from Germany, from France, from the US, from Canada, from the Netherlands. So I thought this was really cute and I thought this would be fun to color. And then this one is the Dutch shoe, the wooden shoes. And I wanna show you how to cut, cut that. This was using the stitched so sweetly. Um, this one, the hoy, this is hi in Dutch. Um, it's a very casual hello in Dutch. Um, and this I used actually the sailing away die set because I thought it fit really well. And then I also used the stitch so sweetly for this set which I'll put over here. So when we unite our creative light, we lighten people's hearts. Um, and I really love that. And I thought this would be really cute in the middle of this. So I think that's really cute. And I think once we color this in, I think that'll look really great there. So that's cool. And that's a really easy card. So I got some Poppy Parade and I'm just gonna layer this on here. And then once I color it, right, then I can just pop this up on some dimensionals. I can do the same color for the wooden shoes as well. And then I'll probably do something like this, right? And then I've got really cute cars to send to my relatives in the Netherlands. So what's neat about these pieces is that if you have friends or family in any of these other marketplaces, they're really gonna love getting a card that is in their native language or that has imagery that they're used to. Um, this is also really cute if you go traveling to any of these places, which I know not a lot of us are traveling right now to begin with, but eventually we will travel more, right? So, you know, there's a couple of different mediums that you could use to color these. We can use our watercolor pencils, um, and I might use those for this piece. Just because it's a little finer, um, I think that might be good. But for this, I actually think that I'm going to use my Stampin' Blends. use Mango Melody for the for the um, the yellow part of the shoe and then I'm gonna use a little bit of the Poppy Parade for the stripes so generally this piece here is like a red stripe so there's like a red one two three and the X's have to do with um, like the royal it's like a royal symbol, the house in Holland, so the royal house. So anyway, uh, okay. And then I think we want the inside of the shoe is gonna be a little darker. So I think we'll go darker here. And then we'll probably go darker here. So they're usually like a golden buttery yellow. Um, and you might see them in other colors as well, but I'm trying to do kind of what I would consider a typical Dutch shoe. Although a lot of them are also, um, you know, done in, oh, I'm gonna grab the two right ones, that'd be funny. Yeah, Mango Melody, Mango Melody, okay, good. There's also some unfinished ones. So we have some here at the house that are unfinished from when my husband uh, he was a kid and they lived in Germany and 
and they um, they lived there and he got some of those when I guess they visited the Netherlands at some point. All right, so that's cute. And then I'm gonna color this into, what I'm gonna try to do is not mix the red and the yellow. <laughs> I don't want orange there. Okay, cute. And then I tried to go a little darker. I'm gonna go kind of darker here. Darker here, even darker. And then we'll go darker here, and then maybe here too. Just so we have a little bit of contrast, right? So the Stampin' Blends are fun. The markers are fun. If you don't have them, um, you know, the more color you add, the better it is. Um, I'm gonna go light here. But these are probably the easiest things to color ever, right? Like yellow and a touch of red. All right, I can do that, right? Anybody can do that. Nice. There, so now we've got some cute, some cute shoes. And I left this intentionally lighter here. If I had forgotten to do that, then I could come back with my white, right? My color lifter, which I cannot find at the moment. Not surprising, guys, not surprising. Um, color lifter, marker, come to me. So I would always come back with this, right, and kind of, you know, lift out some color if I wanted to, if I had forgotten to do it. Um, luckily, I remembered it. Um, yeah, let's do a little bit. Yeah, there's a touch right there. All right, nice. Um, and you'll see that color lifter, it'll just like, it lifts the color right out. It's pretty magical, so. Um, all right, so then we'll put this on the front of a garden. I think it'll be really cute, and I think that my, my people will like it. Um, and I could add designer series paper. I could add, right? Like I could do one of a thousand things, but I'm not going to, um, cause it's really cute. Like, it's even cute on the back. That's one thing I love about the Stampin' Blends. Now, um, let's see if me and the adhesive will be friends. I've just heard that like go light on this adhesive, right? Like just don't press down so hard and it won't be a big deal, but I'm just very heavy handed, so. Sorry, I can't put a card together upside down. I can put it together part way, but. So I'd love to hear how you think you're gonna use this what stamp sets are the shoes from oh anita you missed it so this is from the stamp and diversity download so this is a free download on stampinup.com right now you know last year they did that covid um download and it was like a donation but this year to celebrate diversity and as part of stampin ups um, you know, work on inclusion and diversity. Um, we're working on highlighting um, our different markets. And so this was one of the free things on the download. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I do. So I just take my white cardstock. Oh, goodness. I take my white cardstock and I print the sheets. So like this was the sheet that these pieces came from. And then I just zipped it in half and then I just die cut out the bottom piece. Um, this was the piece that the Dutch one came on. Uh, actually, this is the sentiment one. Um, it also has this really uh, beautiful roomy um, quote that says, you are not a drop in the ocean, you are the entire ocean in a drop. I have an idea for that one too, so I'm gonna do something with that. And then um, We Belong Together, which I love. Uh, and then this one with the shoes had um, off defeats. Um, and then this saying, which I had to look up because I really didn't, I'd never heard of it before, um, which is interesting. And then a bunch of the um, toys. Uh -huh. Here they are. Uh, so this page had um, high in a couple different colors and then um, a couple of other sayings and then one of the little Dutch shoes at the bottom. So 
really cute. Um, these are really great. They make really fast cards. Yeah, they're really cute. Um, and I just love anything, you know, you guys know, anything Dutch always makes me happy. Um, all my Dutch friends should be getting excited because they're definitely going to be getting some, some fun mail. So now this one, right? So, and we could not color this. This is completely possible, right? We could just leave it black and white. I think it's really cute. Um, we could color different pieces of it. So we could choose to like, maybe we, you know, color his hat and his plat, you know, his bill and, you know, a few pieces, or we could just color the whole thing. Um, I would recommend for this one to use something a little bit finer um, so that you have a little bit more, you know, control over it. Um, and I'm gonna have to, I just used these the last time with a bunch of um, girls. And so they, um, they've, they've gotten some use. So I did a Girl Scout class a couple weeks ago. And um, so I have both sets of the watercolor pencils. Um, one has, I think, 10 and one has 14 or something like that. I just store them in this um, double wood mount case that I've had for a long time. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then in terms of watercolor pencils, you just want a nice soft point. You don't want a sharp point um, because you want to be able to kind of softly color. You don't want any harsh lines or anything. And so it could be that I choose just to kind of color, you know, some of the, um, some of the animals and maybe I don't, you know, color, um, all of it, or maybe I come back and I decide I want to color all of it. Apparently it is really hard for me to color upside down. So that's good to know. Um, Patsy Palmer, you got to see mooses, right? this last week. They went to the Grand Tetons and not Yosemite, the other one, Yellowstone. That's where you went. All right, so in this case, I've kind of colored, you know, lightly, and then I'm gonna come in, oh, that one's really dry. I'm gonna come in and kind of smooth that out with my blender pen right? Because right now it looks like a kindergartner scribbled it. But once I get this going, it'll smooth that out. I'll just be careful on this. Antlers. Antlers, right? Definitely not horns. Got to remember that. And maybe I want to come in. That was early espresso. Uh, maybe I want to come in with a little, you know, Cajun craze or something else just to kind of warm up his fur. Um, you know, so I might, you know, choose to add a little bit of color um, and then come back with the, the blender pen. These are great if you don't want the kids to make like giant water messes. <laughs> um, you know, then um, this is, you know, um, yeah, I need to, yeah, just take some cardstock to work and print it. I actually, um, ran out of paper, so I'm now printing everything on cardstock at home. Don't ask. Um, so, but yeah, this is a really fun one. Um, uh, we definitely need his hat, right? Like he's got to have a, a red hat. And it could be that I just color a couple of images, um, or maybe I'll color the rest. Um, but I just wanted to bring this to your attention. I wasn't sure if everybody knew about the download. Um, definitely download it and, and save it, right, on your device so that later you can come back to it if you're not able to print it now or you don't have a ton of extra crafting time right now. You can always come back, you know, later at some point and, um, and work on it. So uh, maybe I'll add a little bit of you know, gray to the bicycle, um, but maybe, you know, maybe I'll do gray tires because, you know, sure, but maybe. So my sister lived in Amsterdam 
And when she lived there, she had a very ugly bicycle. And I always asked my mom, like, why? You know, why is Natasha's bicycle so ugly? And she said, she said, well, it's really ugly because she doesn't want it to get stolen. <laughs> and if you have a very ugly bicycle, people are less likely to steal your bicycle if it's ugly. I was like, oh, well, that's an interesting thought. Um, so there's that. Uh, I'm going to do a brown seat. Um, so anyway, um, there's that. So if you don't want your bicycle stolen, have an ugly bike, which I guess makes sense, right? I'm going for a pink bike because why not? Plus my friend in Holland really likes pink. So maybe she will get this and she will like all the pink. Definitely gonna need that. I've got a new one here, a newer, I think. Yeah, so smooth that out. And some brown for the bottle seat. Cute, and then we'll put some fun, fun colored flowers in there. Maybe some. Hot pink, no, purple. Yeah, maybe two. Too matchy matchy. Uh -huh. Purple. That's what we're gonna go for. Nice. Alright, so I'm going to continue to color this, and you are not going to watch me, but later tonight, um, come and um, check out the Facebook page and the Instagram page, and, um, you know, let's see what card this turns into, and for now, you can enjoy the other one, and I'm sure I'll have a couple more, um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy this. Um, and hopefully it's reminded you about this great download and the fact that Stampin' Up's giving it for free. So let me know if you've got any questions, if you're having any issues. Uh, I've got um, RSVP through this week, Friday, the 18th, for my plant class. I don't know, plentiful plants class. Um, and that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about it. And um, it's $15 or free with a $35 order on the hostess code. And um, yeah, please let me know. This is my gold month. Um, so everybody who places an order this month will get a fun uh, Expressions in Ink ephemera pack, um, which has like all these gold pieces. It's really cute. And um, hopefully um, everyone will love that. So let me know uh, if you've got any questions or anything, but I'm looking forward to um, seeing you guys. And I hope that you'll come to class and I hope you enjoy that. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks, Patsy. I really love those shoes too. They're really cute. So, all right. Bye y'all. See you later. Have a great Wednesday. Have a good night.